And I was reminded of it again 29 days ago. And no words can mend a broken heart. No music can fill the gaping void. At least in my experience, only faith. He always speaks from the heart, Mike, and, and really, you know, there was um, the inspiration of the president's eulogy and then the connection here with Joe Biden to the pain. You know, the two men, the president and the vice president, have been joined figuratively uh, uh, in the last three weeks since Bo Biden's death in a way that they had not really, they've always been tight, always been friendly, always gotten along, but the last three weeks have formed a a, a uniquely even stronger bond, I think, than the, than, the, uh, than the enjoyed before. The other aspect of the president's speech that you pick up anecdotally uh, over the weekend is that one of the president's core constituencies when he ran in 2008, and Ron just alluded to this, was young people. You know, hope, change, he's different. He got them back on Friday. Mm -hmm. he, they had dropped out, tuned out, not listened to him. I think he got a huge percentage of them back on Friday. There was a huge, I think, opening created by the words of those families in the courtroom when they faced down the gunman. I think everybody, even the president himself, uh, in that day, hours after the shooting, seemed almost beleaguered by a... Are we ever going to do anything about guns? Are we ever going to do anything about race? Are we ever going to have something more than a conversation? And then, and then the video started to light up Facebook and Twitter and everywhere you went with the words of these families. And what was most remarkable was, no, you, you, you probably going to get gun legislation through Congress. No, you're probably not going to get the type of mental health counseling.